Hello friends, and welcome back, at long last, to Stalker Anomaly. About six months ago, I uploaded what I figured was just a short, fun overview of some of the mods and changes in Gamma 091, while having a bit of fun trying out syncing footage to music. Well, it got some attention, all right. Which would have been the perfect time to take advantage of all that traffic to grow the channel by releasing some more new content quickly. And then I've dropped off the face of the planet. Expertly done. This isn't really the place to go into the personal reasons behind the silence, and I put a few details in a community post if you want to go read that. Suffice to say, life happened, and I had to step back. I hated doing it, but it was necessary. So first of all, an unthinkably belated thank you to everyone who stopped by, and an even bigger one to those who stuck around during the content draw. I've been talking for a while now about a heavily modded ISG run for the next Anomaly series, including a custom system that I'm calling Heat which is analogous to a notoriety or chaos system like those found in GTA, Dishonored, or Assassin's Creed, where you're trying to be covert and stay off the radar, so to speak. I previewed a bit of heat some time ago, but the fact is that when I built that version of the system, I made a lot of rookie mistakes. Looking back now with all the experience I've gained over the last year modding, a lot of it just really needs to be rebuilt, and the quest customization itself is going to be more work yet. And that unfortunately means putting this ambitious series on the back burner until it's good and ready, and holding off on promises for when that is until I know much better. Sorry about that. I know some of you have been looking forward to it almost as much as I have, but there are still plenty of adventures to be had in the zone, and it's been quite a while since I've spent much time in Anomaly that wasn't playtesting or troubleshooting a mod feature. I think it's about time we changed that and had a bit of fun. So meet Nico Bavavna. Nico is a stalker I've been playing on and off for a bit, and I thought I'd do something a little different with him. You see, Nico, unlike me, enjoys the company of other human beings and doesn't particularly want to be alone in the zone. So we've been teaming up with other stalkers where we can, which is how we met our friend Russ over here. And since I was going the companion route, I decided to do something I almost never do, and that's unlock and use Hip as a companion. It's like thinking, she's made of tissue paper, she's a liability. Now, before you crucify me in the comments, I know. Hip is the only named female NPC in the zone, and some people really, really like her. If that's you, I'm not here to judge your choice of waifu. I might judge some of the mods you're using. Personally, I could not give the first shit about video game titties. This does nothing for me. And yeah, I know she can be powerful, especially if you install a mod that lets her not die to the first cat you encounter. But here's the thing. She's an NPC. That means she's a pain in the ass, which is generally not what I seek in partners. Pip is just as liable as any other rando NPC to glitch out, block doorways, accidentally shoot you in the ass, get in the line of fire at the worst times, or otherwise serve as a powerful reminder of why I hate most NPC companions in video games. And that goes double for NPCs on Stalker. You have to babysit them constantly to make sure they don't get left behind, start a fight, or stick their tongue in a light socket. And if they do, that's basically on you for deciding to bring them along in the first place. It's like having a kid except less rewarding and the sleepless nights are your own fault. The fact that she's survived as long as she has is a miracle. That and the <laughs> generous use of quick saves. But okay, Nico likes her. I will make the effort to appreciate her as well. And to show her just how much we appreciate her, we're going to take Hip to the prom. To the prom zone, that is. And by now, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about this mod pack that adds several new maps to Anomaly, Prom Zone, Grimwood, and a town called Yuzhny, whose name I'm sure I'm butchering, along some underground areas up in the prom zone itself. Now, from everything I've seen and heard in the community, these maps are very polished and well-regarded, with a custom quest line and all the usual amenities like fast travel and stash locations. However, I've never actually played them, nor even seen any gameplay. I've been meaning to forever, but I wanted to do that on the channel. And that's the other reason I started Nico's playthrough, to collect a whole bunch of stash locations that we can ho go hunt them down in the new maps. I've been doing quests and gearing up while avoiding so much as entering any of the new zones. Not even once. And that means that today, we're going to go discover them together. And yeah, TB stash mod really wants me to go pick up that stash that's over there somewhere. I spent like two hours last night looking for this thing. And here's the ring of where I made contact with the double beeps. And right here, if I tuck my nose in this corner of the roadway here, then I get the you're standing right on top of it beep. And the thing is, there's nowhere for it to be. And I've even gone into demo record and looked under the map. If, if it's there, it's out of bounds or invisible or something. I have no idea. But I'm not going to waste any more time on it. So we'll just leave that there for now. Now we're here in Yantar for a few reasons. Uh, first of all, because I've got a crystal artifact that I need to turn into him. It probably should be some good money and hopefully a stash. 
But the other reason is because my understanding is that the quest line for the new maps actually starts with Sakharov. So we're going to pay him a visit, turn in the quest, and start a new one. Now, by now, I'm sure you've noticed the green icons above the heads of my companions. Uh, that's not something done automatically. I added those icons to them. It's using one of the new optional features of Personal Adjustable Waypoint. Uh, you can not only mark the map with icons, but you can set those icons to have labels, such as I've done with the names of my companions here, and you can make them visible on your HUD. So I've marked them with green chevrons that clearly denote them as allies, and that'll be visible through walls as well. Um, I've had them set to fade out when I get a bit close to them, or if I get a bit too far away as well, just to keep things clean. Now, I know that sort of thing is not for everyone, but it's the sort of feature that I've gotten very used to in games like Assassin's Creed and Horizon Zero Dawn. I really like being able to mark my enemies. That even goes all the way back to the original Far Cry, I think. At least for me. But okay, there's a lot of nonsense going on, so how about the two of you follow me here into the bunker? That's right, kids. Come on in. You can figure it out. Oh, crying out loud. Who is that? Is that Hip out there? Yeah, that's Hip out there. Hip, come on. You can do this. It's a door. I know it's a complicated door, but it still only opens one way and does so without you having to do anything. There you go. You figured it out. Okay, wait there. Sakharov, I have your funny rock. Wow. 37,000 rubles. That is a heck of a payout for a crystal. And stash coordinates in the garbage. Well, okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, have you heard about the newly opened places? Yes, yes, we've already started studying one of them. A few days ago, we sent one of my protégés with a guard to the area known to you as the Prom Zone, but something went wrong with him. Now he refuses to do his job and does not respond. We already have a shortage of people, and allocating them for unexplored territory is simply irrational. Maybe you would agree to help us. The job shouldn't be particularly difficult. You probably deal with it every day, and my graduate student will reward you generously. We just need you to accompany our worker in the so-called prom zone while he takes measurements. Well, that is a rather generous offer, I agree. Doesn't sound difficult at all. So, let's do it. Wait a minute. I just realized. I'm currently tromping around with a pair of NPC companions, something I generally prefer not to do. And I've just picked up an escort quest. Fuck me. But okay, let's take a look at where this is. So the new maps are over here. And there's Prom Zone. Meet with Sakharov's assistant at the Prom Zone. It looks like he's right there at the level transition. Where's that transitioning to? Uh, Army warehouses, really? Okay. This one, uh, goes to Radar. It must be one of the new ones down here, yeah. So it's back up there by, the, by that shack that Duty and Freedom are already, always fighting over, and the bandits just kind of chuckle-fucking their way in there whenever they can. So yeah, that's not too difficult to get to, and it looks like I've got a stash there in Army Warehouses anyway, so I can grab that on the way past. Uh, probably the easiest way to get there, I'd say. Let's see, that. yeah, that goes to Dead City. Now, here's an interesting thing. Uh, the path between Dead City and Army Warehouses has changed. So it now passes through one of the new maps called Grimwood. Got a few stashes in there as well, so we'll get to that. But uh, not quite yet. Let's let's follow the quest line for now, see how that goes. We'll free roam when we can. Now, let's see, I've got two stashes there. And unfortunately, uh, these stashes in the new maps, they're not going to have any creative names or anything like that. They're just going to be called stash, but that's fine. They exist at all. That's nice. So I think if we're going to army warehouses, probably best to start at Rostock. So let's make sure that my companions are on follow. And then fast travel to the quick pin at my bar stash. Oof. Oof. Clear some room. Clear some room, please. Thank you. Excuse me, guys. Come on. Okay, how about you come over here? Come on. Stay close, maybe? Can I come any closer? Yeah, there you go. You figured it out. Okay. Now wait. Okay. That actually gives me a little bit of room here. Uh, let's see. I think I'm actually pretty well situated. Oh, I forgot to sell that off. That's fine. I'll just stash it here for now. But yeah, I think, uh, I think I'm pretty well set up for a journey. I had just come back from one and was re-equipping. I'll just toss the stuff in there for now. Now you might notice an unfamiliar device in my belt. Uh, 
we'll get to that. That is actually added by one of my mods that I'm currently playtesting. It's not in public release yet. Uh, it's something I still need to get some details nailed down for, but we're going to be having some fun with it during this episode. Hopefully. Unless it crashes. But okay, as far as ammo goes, yeah, we've got more than enough to deal with whatever comes our way. Uh, this character is reasonably well geared. As you can see, I still haven't taken care of the Brain Scorcher yet. I'm pretty early on in the Anomaly quest line, but I've been doing a lot of free roam, and uh, so I've gotten pretty well geared up. Certainly not endgame gear, but I could hold my own. Now that suit's taken a few knocks here, so before I head out, I'm just going to clean that up. And we'll use one of these masks here, because why not? And grab a spare rag. Yeah, I've got plenty of just looks like just about everything. 12 gauge and rifle cleaning kits. Yeah, I think we're good to go. Now, let's see. It's not impossible. That there could be some dogs or zombies or something out here. Uh, yeah, looks like uh, looks like someone had a bad time there. Is there anything interesting on that? Uh, N49s. I don't think I need those right now. Uh, looks like these zombies have been looted. Good day, gentlemen. It's passing through. And what do we got over here? Anything on the road? Nothing as presents itself immediately. I think while I'm here, I'm just going to take a look at some of the known stashes, see if there's anything unmarked on that one. And what about this one? Hey, basic tools. Awesome. You know what? Having a set of basic tools along would not necessarily be the worst idea. If nothing else, I can stash it somewhere for giving to a, to a technician later. The road is clear, and for once, it is a beautiful day in the zone. All right, good. Looks like the area around the checkpoint is immediately clear. Here's some dogs off to my right. Hopefully they won't come this way, but we can handle them if we do. Um, let's put you guys on fire at will for now so you can watch my back. That stash. Uh, sounds like someone's having a bad time with the dogs over there, so uh, let's maybe just uh, let that be. Who's that? We got duty. Duty's fine. Duty are our friends. Especially since I'm wearing an ecologist suit right now. That pretty much makes this everyone's friend. We're near enough as not to matter. Okay. Just so I don't get turned around, I'm going to set a waypoint on this stash over here. That'll just guide me right to it. I know some of you out there are saying, what in the Ubisoft is this shit? But this is just, this is just what I like. It's off by default. You don't have to use it in your game, but it's there for people who like it. Okay, I'm getting some pings here and I'm not sure from where it can be. We got freedom. Okay, freedom's over there. That's fine. Can be monolith up here. Can be monolith pretty much anywhere around here, to be honest, but uh, okay. Well, someone left their food and their cigarettes in there. Cigarettes are fine, but I don't think I want the food. We'll sell that. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's just freedom here. I don't know why I'm freaking out. Good morning, gents. Excuse me. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. I'll take all of that. Um, I've got my mic sitting in front of me, or rather, uh, I've got my mic hung in front of me. And unfortunately, uh, the position that it needs to be in kind of blocks my view of the keyboard. So every now and then I hit the wrong key. Survival went up. And of course, I'm using Haruka's skill system, because why wouldn't I? Okay, let's stash some of these extra things in here. And then while we're... Wait a minute. There were already things in there. Is that actually a stash? Yes, that counts as a stash. Good. Okay. 
Um, actually, I will take a landmine with me, sure. And since I've got some crap in my backpack, and there's a general trader right here, let's just make the rounds. So I see one aspect of the new screen space shaders right there. It's got some improved uh, volumetric lighting, and honestly, this is at a low intensity, and it just looks stunning to me. Like, I think that's awesome. Uh, less so when you get up close like this, because I have the quality turned down, and um, uh, the, the volumetric part of it is making it really obvious that you've got two textures there in an X. <laughs> but okay, we'll just ignore that. All right, Skinflint, what do you got? And the junk has been auto-transferred over. I uh, will get rid of that, too. You know what? I think I will mark that as junk as well. And the rest. Oh, he, he doesn't actually want those. I can probably sell them to a technician. It's fine. And while I'm here... Anything particularly interesting... Not really there. Uh, no F1 grenades, really. Okay. I would have taken one or two more of those. Oh, and it's got one of the crap backpacks. One of the, it, I don't know what is doing this, but there's a bugged version of a backpack that's not actually real and it doesn't work. Uh, thankfully, they show up as different items, so I've marked the bad one as junk because I never accidentally buy it. I think Blondie ran into that in his playthrough as well. Okay, as far as ammo goes... Quite a bit of good ammo, but I don't think I feel like stocking up quite... I don't think I feel like stocking up quite right now when I'm just about to head out. So, okay. Uh, the last thing I want to do is, while I'm here, I do want to buy some joints. And, actually, that's a good price, too. Because that right there, uh, that is, what, two... That is one, that is one and a half F Nephron shots. Almost, but I'll grab the uh, vodka that makes the rest of it. Oh my god. See, this is one of the other reasons... This is one of the other reasons why I'm not keen on NPCs sometimes, is that they're always tromping around around you, and when one of them is in an exoskeleton, that's kind of noisy. Maybe I should turn those effects down. In fact, yes, I think I will turn all of those down just a bit. I already had done before, but... Okay, well, hopefully that helps a little bit. Let's see, what do we got going on on the map here? Ah, see some bandits over there. So right now I'm using the Milspec PDA, and that normally always has the ability to show enemy map spots, but I'm also using the progressive mode. And what that does is it forces you to loot PDAs from a faction in order to unlock their GPS data and thereby gain access to being able to see them on the map. So because I currently have both Renegades and Bandits unlocked, I've looted some PDAs from them recently. For about the next, uh, I want to say, three to five days thereabouts, I, I don't remember exactly when I did each of them. But for a little while yet, I'm going to be able to see both of those on the map. And then it's going to reset and I'll have to collect PDAs from them again. It is a very cool system, and I finally got it fully working. But I don't think we need to go to that part of the map. I am content just to cut across here, and let's see, we've got duty there. Here's some gunshots, but that's probably either animals or zombies. Rather, I should say that's probably duty shooting at either animals or zombies. Yep, a dog, looks like. Okay, looks like I got a pack of dogs over here, so let me have my shotgun at the ready. And everyone's on fire at will, good. Just scenery. Okay, looks like all the action is happening over here. While well, I'm here, I think isn't there a uh, there's a stash in here? Yes. Yeah. But it has nothing. Oh wait. 
Looks like we got some renegades over there that just zoned in. All right. Ow. Okay. Uh, apparently they had spread out a bit more than I expected they had. Oops. Uh, and that's put us all the way back here. That's unfortunate. Okay. Well, all I really did was loot a stash and sell off some stuff. And you saw what that is. And Spike will be the same thing this time. So I'm just going to repeat all that, not make you sit through it. And I will rejoin you when things get interesting again. All right. I think everything is in order here. All right, everyone, follow me. Let's try not to get caught with our pants down like that again. Okay. Make sure I know which one of these I'm going to. moment I don't see those renegades coming through. Should be clear to make a run for it and hopefully not right through the anomalies. All right, this is it. Time to head into the prom zone for the first time. Here we go. Okay, well, I'm betting that that's our, uh, yeah, that's probably our contact right there. Before we talk to him, let's take a look at the map. Let's see, we've got a dutier there. Possibly some friends. Not much else. Now, I'd see if there were any bandits or renegades, obviously, because I've got their GPS data unlocked. But uh, there could there could be some military out there, or possibly some other advanced factions. But you know, we'll see. And of course, mutants. Mutant score. Well, this is quite pretty. Привет, брат. Что скажешь? I know. Let's find out. Are you the stalker sent by Sakrov? He's been bothering me with his messages. Why? Yes, that is in fact me. Hi. Nice to meet you. Niko Bavavna. All right. I hope you won't act like the previous one. Sakrov said that there weren't enough people and started hiring anyone for lower priority tasks. One of the escorts ended up with me. A stalker just like you. No offense. We went out a few days ago and everything seemed fine. We reached the Freedom Base without any incidents and spent the night there. When I woke up in the morning, he was gone along with almost all my belongings. I asked around, but no one saw anything or knows anything as usual around here. And the only things he didn't touch were the measurement device and the pistol, so thanks for that. I wrote to Sakharov and he started assuring me that I can handle it on my own. Well, I got angry and stopped responding to him. I had some money in my pockets to stay at the base for a while. Well, Sakharov promised that when we finish, you will give a generous reward, and I'd like to know exactly what form that might take. Yeah, so basically what this boils down to is great. Sakharov's going to pay me. This guy's got nothing. I'm just going to take this on credit. Okay, well, journey, destination, something, something. And it looks like he is now officially a companion. Fantastic. All right, well, let's just make sure that, actually, you know what? I'm going to put everyone in stealth and I'm going to reset all of their states. They should now be on hold fire and following. Well, let's get some high ground and take a look at what, what we've got to work with here. Looks like that fence is the border to the map that continues for some way. Uh, yeah, that's just, it looks like it's just a narrow corridor here heading towards that facility, whatever that is. Okay, our destination is right here, and we've got to take three measurements because it's a video game, so we'll all have threes. Come along, gentlemen. I'm sure this will go completely smoothly and that we won't get attacked by anything whatsoever. Well, 
here. Okay, well, there's a structure over there. What is that? Train station of some sort, probably? Yeah, something like that. Is, is that just... That's just them walking through the bushes. It's fine. Okay. Well, for the moment, everything seems... Sus well, I was about to say suspiciously clear, but no, we have a lurker over there. Let's tag him. I hear you, buddy. Yeah. Suspiciously clear is right. All right. Well, workers usually come in packs, but I don't think he's here for us right now. Where is this? I am so wrong. He's right on top of the fucking thing. Okay. Well, we can deal with that. Uh, how about you folks just stay right here for a moment and just make sure that I've got eyes on everything. Oh, there's another one. It's one dog. I think we can handle it. Put you guys on fire at will for the moment. That was a bit of spamming of shots, but the barrel was already down a little bit. I don't think that did any harm. There's our dog. All right, that looks like that's all of the immediate threats. Yep, I think we're good for now. So let's see what these guys had. Some meat. And what about you? More meat. That's what I needed. Now we're quite close here. Let's see, it looks like there's a dog body over there. Yeah, sure. Actually, I think I was actually one short for a, a task for Butcher earlier, so that's great. Some duty guys talking about snipers, and although I'm I'm sure that that is 100% randomly generated dialogue, all the same. Just want to take a look around here. Okay, maybe I'm being overcautious, but this is a brand new area that I haven't touched yet. Sin says, "Cleanse, purge, purify." Cleanse, purge, purify, yada, yada, yada. Sin, you know what? I will, we'll kick your ass. Don't worry about it. And not much on that one. Getting a little thirsty, though, so let's take care of that. Okay. I think there's a high likelihood of mutants coming while we're doing this. So let's get the shotgun out. And I guess we can stop stealth now because it's probably not going to matter with this. Okay, where is... Oh, there's our scientist guy. Hi, buddy. So are you going to automatically do stuff? Or we'll probably have to talk to you first. Uh, boo -boo, boo -boo. Okay. Oh. How about you follow me to the spot? 
is right here. Are you going to do stuff? Hello? Scientist? I don't see anything here that looks remotely like start scanning shit. Okay, let's keep leading him there. Maybe he's just real particular about what spot he needs to be standing in. And if that's the case, there we go. Okay. Okay, finally it ticked off. All right. Uh, since we're likely to get jumped from just about any direction. Oh, he already did his stuff. I guess that's why he was hanging out there. He just did, just wasn't any kind of a notice that I saw about the fact that it was going. Okay. It looks like we got... The, okay, there's our next spot for measurements. Well, it did not spawn waves of mutants the way I expected, which... Honestly, I'm okay with that. I hate spawning waves of magic shit that wasn't there before. But let's take a look. Um, you know what? I want to see exactly where this is. So let's move the waypoint there. And that should now be visible in the HUD. Oh, that's, that's a good ways out there. Okay, that's not going to be anywhere within sight. Let's clear the waypoint. All right. Well, I think I'd like to know what options there are for retreat and defense. So before I head out there in the wilderness anymore, let's take a look at this train station here. As it looks like uh, on the other side of it, we got a duty guy. But I have no idea what might be inside. Who or what, so let's have a weapon at the ready here. And good, you're on fire at will. A little dark in here, so... Actually, I'll just go with a flashlight. Headlamp, really. Huh. A walkie-talkie. Well, this seems to have the apportionments of an actual base to it. Get that started, just so we have got some warmth in here and some light. Yeah, this... Honestly, it looks like it could be a genuine faction base. It's, it's also very clean, very, very well kept. I suppose anything loose has already been long since stolen from here. Except that telephone. Nobody wanted the telephone, the computer, or anything like that. Those are those. They, they were just done with that, apparently. Or the modern laptop. Huh. Someone's been here. Like, a lot of this shit has obviously been there for 30 years, but someone has been here a lot more recently than that. Oh, guys, guys, thank you. Excuse me, lady and gentlemen. Make me dude you. All right, what do we got going on upstairs here? This is interesting. I've got I've got one PDA contact that isn't my companions. It might just be the dutiers out there. That one of them might be close enough that I'm picking them up. Well, so far this is very light on the loot. And nothing that really looks like a stash container either. That's a whole lot of nothing. Probably the same over here, I'm betting. Yeah. And yeah, more of the same. Oh. Okay. It might just be that the scripts that populate the world with ra random loot don't have spawn points set up for these maps. That wouldn't surprise me at all. Maybe that is a good idea for a mod to work on at some point, but... Uh, I, I'm sure this has people already working on it. I'm not, I, 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 like, I need more projects, right? Okay. Let's see what's out here. Hey, 
Okay, there's a lot of overgrown foliage here, too. Oh, is that something? That looks like a, uh... This looks like a normal spot. Sort that generally has a fast travel point, and... Oh yeah, looks like uh, that train station is in fact a fast travel point, and that's just the stash for the area. Okay. Interesting. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. I've been sitting here looking at, th at three contacts, thinking that there's someone else there. No, it's the scientist that I'm dragging along with us. He's the third contact, it's fine, you just can't count. And we got a duty or manning a checkpoint. Let's take a closer look. Yeah. Well, that's a checkpoint if I ever saw one. What else is going on? What is worth defending about that spot? Oh, well, duty's friendly, so we can just walk right up to him. It's fine. And you guys wait outside. I don't want you blocking that door, which you absolutely 100% will. Okay. Let's set the waypoint on the spot again so I can see it on my HUD. Actually, in this wide open area, I want my rifle. Looking around like this reminds me, I've been trying to get my track IR head tracking device to work with Anomaly. It's it's challenging. There's some technical limitations that I'll need to work around and possibly get some help on uh, a coder, like an actual engine coder, where they would work at all. But I've managed to get it to the point where if I hold down a key, I can look around. The problem is that... The problem is, is that aim and look are not on two separate control axes. They can be controlled separately, but they're both bound hard-coded to the mouse axes. Okay, what, what's going on here? Another worker looks... Oh, hi. Oh. I should have just switched to full auto and hosed him when he got past. But all right. Did I? I told them to wait there, didn't I? Yep, I told them to wait outside the trailer. Oop. Here's something snarling off in that direction still. Whoa. Yep. I think I hear another one, too. I'm not immediately nearby. Far enough away that I can strip this one. Although I'm seeing visibility tick up. So he, he's somewhere within sight. Or at least he's somewhere who keeps getting line of sight to me. Oh, nope. This went full visible. So, something's on me. Where is it? Our fire will go right. Yeah. Now it occurs to me that this is a good opportunity to show off that mystery device that I mentioned earlier. This thing right here, the motion tracking module. Now, this is a mod that I've been working on for quite some time, and it's just been on the back burner. Um, it's fully functional, but it doesn't have any bells and whistles. Like it doesn't, it doesn't currently consume pe or require power, and it doesn't have a view model, so you can't hold it out the way you would an artifact detector or something like that and see things on a screen. 
Uh, what it does do is interface with your mini map, which I, of course, have at the bottom like a compass. Now, it sends out waves of ultrasonic energy that supposedly is going to produce a signal anytime something is moving in my field of view. Now, it's supposed to filter out allies, but as you can hear right now, it's going off. And if you look on the minimap, you can see that uh, both the, the ecologist guy and m one of my allies is setting it off. And that's because even though they're part of my squad, uh, they are part of a neutral faction to me, not an ally. So the, the system is not filtering them the way it ought to do. I just need to add in a check there for members of uh, my squad. And then the IFF will function as it should do. right now at least it will do to let us know if anything's coming although honestly this this area right here this is so wide open I, don't, I doubt anything could get drop on us unless I'm just not paying attention which is possible okay I think we could turn that off for now since it doesn't look like we're gonna need that kind of early warning in this spot Everybody's on, yeah, fire will. I think what was supposed to happen is that the, the things that we've been fighting, they were, I, I bet they were down here and they were just spawned there as part of the opposition for this scanning spot. Okay, we all done here? Bronsov? We done? Oh, no. He's just going to automatically do his thing when the script says he's going to, okay? There we go. All right, let's see what the next one is. It's right over here, so I'm going to set the waypoint on it so I can see it on my HUD. And then I'm going to take the lead so that my companions aren't setting off the tracker. Now, as I mentioned, it sends out ultrasonic pulses in my field of view. So anything that is off to my sides or behind me is not going to pick up, which is worth bearing in mind. Not going to stop anything from sneaking up on you, and you kind of want to be panning around like this, which honestly, you should always be looking around yourself anyway in the zone. Uh, that is the smart thing to do. I do not always do the smart thing. Interesting. That looks like a satellite dish over there. That's cool looking. Or if there's anything to find down there below it. Okay. Oh, I've got a bus stop over here. Nothing interesting there, it looks like. You might expect to see snorks or something like that down in a place like this, but it looks like it's clear. Let me get some high ground, just survey the area. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff over there. Let's just get them all tagged. Oh, looks like we're going in. NPCs are being NPCs. Do not get in my way. Not if you want to look, you. Oh my god. You idiot. You absolute fucking numpty. Okay then. Well. <laughs> I'm betting I did not save after the scan. Yep, that's a thing. Okay. I'm gonna do that again. I won't put you through it. I'll rejoin you on the other side. Okay. Redid all that scanning. I got a quick save in, so I don't have to redo it all again. I hear, yep. I thought I heard a lurker. I 
think, however, we might have attracted the attention of the others. The ones that were spawned in for our... Did I see some movement there? Probably. Yeah, that was probably the one. He's aggravated at something. All right. Uh, you folks, just wait here for a sec. I'm gonna get some... What are you... What are you doing? Okay, fine. Where's the dog? Dog's what I'm really concerned about. It bothers me that I don't know where it is. I mean, if it ran itself into an anomaly, I'm all good with that, but... Okay. Well, let's start picking these guys off. Oh, there's the dog. There you, there you go. There were two of them. Wasting ammo on these guys. Alright, fine. Ah, damn. Just out of view. There we go. Got the dog. Oh, he's got a dog. There may be others. Okay, you know what? It's just these guys. I think we can deal with it. Guys, guys, hold on. Can you not? I still think something else is there. There's the dogs. Oh my god. What are you doing? Why are you over there? Idiot, are you trying to get yourself killed? Oh well, no, those aren't dogs, those are snorks. Okay. Well, I mean, you took out two of them, so that's something. Either that or they were weakened by something else. But alright. Ooh, some lag there. Well, we brought the ecologist to the spot. So we, he does the scanny bits. I'm going to do the looty bits. Oh, yeah, because what I wanted was that zombie's underwear. Okay, not there. Captain Andrechuk wants to go to Grimwood. Well, if you still want to do that by the time that we get around to it, you're welcome to tag along. Now, looks like we got hunger creeping up a little. Now let's just have a small group test shot. See if that makes it go away. There we go. He's done with the scanning. 
That's it. We should get out of here as soon as possible. You don't say. Okay. What does he have to say? You finish your measurements. Yes, I have finished. I will now send everything to Sakharov. Inform him about your help and ask for payment. You can return to him. I still have something to do here nearby. Well, that was... That was simple. Okay. That escort quest was not nearly as bad as I expected it to be. I expected it to be spawning in waves of mutants like it did in the... Uh, in the, in the classic anomaly missions of that type. The reason why I don't do those. Okay. Let's grab some loot from these snorks. Okay, and where are we? We should everything else. Looks like we're just on the outer periphery. So let's set our waypoint on this stash that I've got to go get. Do I hear... I might hear some zombies over there, so let's just make sure they're ignoring combat. Zombies are not a threat unless they get really close. Okay. I think... Let's... Yeah. Full auto on the AK. Actually, let's bring the tracker back out. I do need to fix that, though, thing with the companions. Okay. This looks like it's mostly area that... I was, if not in and clearing, at least close to before. Oh, hey, we've got a, uh, a helicopter here with a shit ton of anomalies around it. Okay. okay let's turn off the tracker. Oh, where is that? Ah, there it is. Okay. Well, that's, that's fine, I guess. Better than nothing. For well, now, let's bring out the detector. A very nice detector, as you might have just seen there. Uh, this is a this is the new replacement for the Bellus detector. That's part of Devices of Anomaly Redone. Uh, Barry Boggs just did an absolutely phenomenal job remodeling and retexturing and animating the, these devices. They're incredible. They just look so good. And it looks like there are no anomaly. Or excuse me, uh, no, no artifacts in these anomaly. Oh, the fuck is that? Well, the scanner says that they're whirly gigs or something of, of that nature. At least as far as the icon it's using for them. I guess that's maybe this is just how they look there in the concrete. Let's take a look around here, see if I can spot any uh, stashes tucked away. Reminds me a lot of a very similar yard that's in Yantar. Although my understanding is that uh, parts of these new maps were based on either existing maps or older versions of existing maps. Just bits and pieces here and there. That's not surprising. I mean, level design, you're always reusing assets if you can. As long as they still serve the purpose and look good. No reason to redo work. Oh, sounds like we got some zombies. I think at this range. Oh, nope. Snorks. Oh, what a terrible shot. Okay, let's have you guys go and fire at will. Ah, you can tell I haven't played for a while. At least not much. Looks like I've still got some bleeding, so let's take care of that. I 
something immediately nearby. Oh, this is interesting. I don't think I've got any stashes on the roof here. There's a can of beans. On this rooftop, there is a can of beans, the sole piece of loot that I've found in some time. And some armor plates. Okay, I'll give it that. It, it was not just a can of beans. There were armor plates, too. My faith in the world has been restored. Let's just make sure we're away from that. dead dog here, which suggests that whatever killed it may still be around. Let's see what we can see here. Here. A warehouse? Maybe? Huh? Huh? Oh! 9 by 19! I think that just picked up one of my companions. I've got to fix that. But I thought I heard something snarling over here. Snarling or breathing heavy or whatever it is monsters do. Oh, we would have got here. Radio, I think. Yep. That's good, because I'm trying to collect capacitors for an important upgrade. It's just companions. like fracture. Okay, got a couple of them over there. That's oh, that's a controller. Oh shit. Okay. Well, it's good to know he's there. In fact, I think I want to give him a different icon. There we go. That'll do. Okay, how about you two wait right there? Could see if he comes around that corner, so I think I want to uh, wait until he's turned to the side a bit. How about you guys get into stealth as well? Controllers down to deal with fractures. Question is, are there any others? 
Did that controller have friends? At the moment, it looks like not. Okay, let's deal with these guys. And then I think I'm going to have to do a brief cut because I think my headphones are running out of power. Okay, simple enough. And what have you guys got? Nothing for you. Sleeping bag, wow. Fancy. And what about the controller? A scalp. Okay, we'll take it. Alright, well, this looks like a fairly safe place, so I'm going to have a little... Oh, that's not what I thought it was. I thought that was just a little shack I could hide in, but no, that's an entrance to something. Okay, well, how about you guys come over here? I'm going to save my game, and then I'll be right back once I have gotten a pair of headphones that have power. Okay, problem solved. Let's see. Where are we in the level? Does that actually go anywhere? I don't think it does. I think this might actually just be a little indoor space that has no current purpose. Although it's obviously based on the geometry of the train tunnel from, um, uh, what is it, Jupiter, is it, I think? Yeah, Jupiter, I think. I, the train tunnel in Jupiter that the controller hangs out in, I'm pretty sure that it's based directly on that. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Well, it's nice, because I feel like that is a very underused area. Uh, let's see, can I get through here? I really like the ledge climbing mod by Demonized. It's so nice. I have missed being able to mantle whenever I play an anomaly. It's it's one of those features you just get really used to in games, you know? That's especially true in games where you do a lot of parkour. All right, well, this looks like this is a dead end and a safe place to stop and take stock. So we've got a handful of yeah, just bodies that we've left along the way. It looks like we've got one more stash up here, and it's just past an anomaly field that's probably worth checking out as well. So let's set a waypoint on that stash. And start heading in that direction. Everyone, with me. Let's switch back to normal ammo just for the moment. No reason to waste it if we don't need it. Okay, good. Everyone's coming. Let's just trace the outside of the map. Make sure we don't miss anything. Also, is there anything up in this tree? Yes, I know. Sorry. Wild territory on 180 megahertz. It was. That's interesting because this obviously wasn't on their recording, but last night when I was playing, it was on 71 megahertz. That's that's odd. Maybe that one was just bugged, and that's why I couldn't find it last night. It's entirely possible. But okay. I'll take care of that then. Uh, let's get the A detector out. No artifacts there. Now let's see, we're not too far. Although, let me scope this out from afar just to be sure. Okay, it looks pretty clear. Although I'm getting thirsty. Let's take care of that. It's my last canteen, but I got plenty of bottled water. Okay. Oh, this. Yeah, this looks like a, a reuse of 
I, I forget the name of it, but it's it's it, it's the the burner anomaly or what have you. It's it's the heat anomaly in Zatan. Geothermal anomaly with what looks like what looks like fruit punch. Like these look like caustic puddles, not thermal. But okay. Um, how about y'all just wait here? Let's see if there's anything worth getting. No. There is a really bad time, and that's about it for now. All right. Well, folks, that one's a bust. Let's move on. Um, despite appearances, that is not part of the playable map. Let's get out of here. Okay, I don't think that got me. Oh, I'm down a little health. And there's a lurker somewhere. Oops, what? Are... Okay, they apparently see something. I... Yep, there's the lurker. Found the lurker. Oh, and apparently there's... Whoa, there's more than one, apparently. Okay. Are there perhaps any more that I need to account for before I start looting? All right, well, got that taken care of. Let's see what this one has. All right, not bad. And we'll take it. I do want you guys to go back in stealth, though, just to reduce your visibility profile. Won't make that much difference, but it might make the difference of a few seconds before something notices you. Uh, however, not seeing much of interest over here. It's entirely possible that there are bags or boxes or what have you tucked away under any of these bushes, but I cannot be arsed to individually search each one. I did that back in Call of Prepit once. And never again. Especially not when the game is occasionally willing to call them out for me like this. I'm putting a stash marker on them. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a good hiding spot. Very well. Very clever. What else around here? It's clear for now. Nothing there. Anomalies here. But no artifacts. Died. Graduate student Vorontsov. A lurker. So, there's a lurker somewhere over here. And he just killed the Sa Sakharov's assistants. That's, uh, that's unfortunate. Sorry, buddy. Let's see. Anything interesting up here? And we got, oh, some 545 rounds. We'll take them. EP, in fact. That's great. Just used up a ton of those. And it's time for rain. Which means it's time for my favorite thing, which is the rain shaders. Look at those, uh, those raindrops accumulating on my weapon. That's beautiful. The Screen Space Shaders mod for Anomaly just makes it look like a completely different game. Like, it's, it's stunning what it does for this aging engine to make it look even vaguely like a modern engine. Let's see. Let's climb up here and is there hack in here? There is not. That's right. Nor under oh, did I speak too soon? No, that's just a shadow. It's fine. Okay.
interesting. We've got a couple of level transitions here to Collider and to Bunker A1. And I'm wondering if we should investigate those while we're here or wait for the quest line to tell us to do so. You know what? I just answered my own question because one of the catch catchphrases, if you will, of the personal adjustable waypoint mod is don't let NPCs tell you where to go. So I think I'm going to set my own quest marker on that thing and see whether we can access it at this point. Although I have to say it is, um, that's, that's quite a bit underground. Like where even is the entrance to that? Okay. Maybe there's, I was about to say, maybe there's more to this place than I thought. There was a tick of visibility there for a second. Something else is here. How about y'all follow? I think a shotgun will serve me better in here. That's a plastic film. Nice. Use that to make up an effort. Bedspread. That's okay, that's just my companions. <laughs> a heart attack there for a second. It's funny, some people might argue that the uh, motion tracker is an unfair advantage, but fact is, is that sometimes it does more to add a creepy mood than it does to actually gain advantage over the mobs. Because if you know where that sound effect comes from, then uh, you know why it is very unnerving when that starts coming off. I get some canned tomatoes. I'll probably scarf those shortly here. I'm probably going to be getting hungry again. Oh, I'll take I'll take that too. All right, let's take, turn off the tracker for a second here. This is interesting. Oh, got some ammo there. Yeah, but that unfortunately is not a safe that we can access. I swear this this is. This is an NPC vendor area of some sort. Like, I'm sure that is, or at least was, in its original incarnation. Hey, Kevlar plates. All right. That doesn't suck. So there is some loot to be found here. Yeah, some duct tape. Okay. There's some loot to be found here. It's just uh, apparently not all the buildings are are completely populated with spawn points for the random loot. Oh, pills. Okay. Now, is this a real safe? It is not. That's fine. Oh, what about this? Nope. And I'd access that. All right, let's take a look at this room over here that we couldn't get through to. A cafeteria of some sort? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, some bread. Yum. I want to just eat that right now. That'll just top off my hunger a little bit. Huh. It's not just me, right? This looks like the, the, these ought to be a couple of NPC vendor areas. Huh. I wonder if they're... I... I now, granted, I don't know anything about the quest lines that are... Where is that? Thank you. I don't know anything about the quest lines for the, these new levels. So for all I know, it could just be a couple more iterations of go here, scan this, escort this NPC, what have you. Point A, point B, you're done. Or it could be a little more interesting because maybe this is just me, but I could imagine populating and spawning in some NPCs at... Oh, hi.
I was going to say, I can imagine turning this into a new hub by spawning in NPCs here with new routines and everything like that, new traders, once we have progressed the plot to a certain point. That would be really cool. I don't know if that's implemented. Probably not, because that would be a ton of work, but that would be really cool if it was. Okay, if I had to guess, those dogs were probably what was catching visibility on me before. But all the same, when we turn the tracker back on... Okay, there's something else. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks like zombies over there. What are you doing? Just some zombified. That's not much of a concern. But something is. They think something's a concern. Man, it's magic NPC vision. What, what are you guys haggling on? Seriously. Okay, how about you just ignore combat for a sec? Nothing's currently attacking us. Though, I'm gonna get on top of this car. Let's see what we got going on here. Ah. Probably just him. Aha! Got some lit underground areas here. Oh. There's our way in. We're wait. Jesus. Okay then. I'm losing my reflexes. But okay. Looks like this might be our way in or our way out. Let's find out which. Is this an entrance or is it a Skyrim door? Actually, I didn't want that, but that's fine. I'll just unload it and toss it. Unfortunately, then a companion is probably going to pick it up. Tracker's clear. Yep, here's our way down. All right. Well, let's take a look at these upper levels first. You guys wait here so you don't get in the way. Ah, just some crafting materials. It's fine. All right. Uh, how about you folks come on up? Oh, isn't that interesting? I wonder if I can jump over there. I almost certainly can, but is there a point to doing so? Uh, something there. Slug shells and a radio. Okay. Well, this looks like this is not intended to be accessible, but I'm betting, yep, with ledge grabbing, I can clamber my way up here. So how about you guys just wait in, uh, wait in this spot so that you're not frantically trying to figure out how to path to me. There's a ladder over here. All right, well, let's take a look at what we've got here. Can I see anything at all through the all this rain? Wait a second. Just notice. I must have taken a hit and just not noticed that I was bleeding because my health's going down and I'm still I still have a bleeding effect. What the hell is up with that? Oh my goodness. This is the quality gameplay you come here for. <laughs> that would have been super embarrassing. Okay. It does remind me that it's been a while since I saved, so let me do that. Uh, you guys are waiting, and I'm going to hop over here and fail at platforming. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's do the run of shame back upstairs. A 
your crafting material. Okay. Uh, what about that over there? Nope, I'm just going to fall again. All right. Awesome. Uh, how about you folks just follow me down here? Oh. Ideally not in the manner that I did. Oh, what do we got here? An unmarked stash, but there's nothing in it. All right, I feel good just for finding one. Oh. Well, apparently my stamina is not doing great. It's probably that time I took an epi. That's going to help with the stamina and things in general. And what does this guy have? And just a little money. Uh, is this a building that can be entered? Looks like it might just be scenery. I think it's scenery. So, is there anything in here? There is not. All right. Well, I think we've procrastinated enough. Let's take these stairs down and see where they lead. Well, first I'll grab some rounds from that table. Apparently, I missed this room. All right, good. You're following. What is this? Just scenery. Oh, scenery and some crafting materials. Endurance goes up. That's always welcome. Okay, so that goes further down, but then it looks like so does this, just in a different way. Okay. That's a ways down. Okay. Before I go that way, let's see what this stairwell has to offer. Flashing red lights. Or flashing... Flashing warm-toned lights on a red background, I should say. And absolutely nothing of interest. I wonder if those are intended to open at some point. Okay. Well, nothing to do there, so let's proceed back up and deal with the absolutely atrocious way that Stalker handles what, uh, stairs. I've got some rounds there. Not useful ones, though. Oh. Hello. This is a point of no return. If I ever saw one. So, okay. In light of that. I'm just going to create a backpack stash there. And can you guys please not walk the doorway please please thank you okay um that's a problem because you see the see npcs can't jump they can't jump they can't mantle they can't traverse any terrain that they have not been explicitly told they can traverse from one point to another that's just how their pathing works these stairs these have a couple of points at the top and the bottom of them and all around that they just get told to go to one at a time. And I'm betting that they don't know how to get down here. So I'm going to save my game and I'm going to take a leap and see what's going on. Um, you guys can wait here for the moment. Because otherwise you'll be going nuts trying to path to me. And then... Okay, good. Easy jump there. Well, let's have a weapon at the ready, because we don't know what's here. Some materials. Crack 
hacker's quiet? These. Oh, this is a nasty looking area. So the thing about the motion tracker, it tracks motion. And if an NPC or a monster or what have you is just standing there in their spawn point and not moving, they're not going to trip the motion tracker. So the fact that it's quiet right now, it's helpful, but it's not authoritative. It is not an absolute certainty that there's nothing down here waiting. Okay, interesting. So... This right here is our entrance. Whoa. Unknown path. Oh, okay. Okay, so if I... Yep, I go there. Okay. So, that is in fact a level transition. And it's a one that I don't know how to go through yet. The problem is, is that it has been handled in a very clunky way. And possibly a very bad way, because... I can't, I, also this is killing my frame rate. Holy shit, what is going on? Um, but yeah, if, if that barrel got moved and you were unable to clamber up here, it could potentially trap a player who is not running the mods that I am. There, this area is just killing my frame rate. I do not know why, but I want nothing to do with it. Take that. Oh, man. That is... That is not good. What is my frame rate right now, anyway? Uh, not terrible standing still, but okay. Um, I wonder... Is this a way out? Oof. The frames. Holy shit. Let me turn off the tracker, see if that helps. Nope. Nope, it ain't the tracker. It's just this area is, for whatever reason, painfully unoptimized. Painfully. Oof. I don't know what's going on here, but that is not normal. All right, let's, I think I've had enough of that, so let's make use of, holy shit, look at my cursor. Yeah, it's absolutely tanking. Okay, hopefully once I get out of this area, that is going to stop happening, because that is just nasty. Okay, let's tell everyone to follow and my frames are still shit so I'm gonna save my game reload it and see if that helps all right one restart later and my frames are looking much better I also rolled back to the save just before I went down there just on the off chance that I glitched something in the save yeah so Apart from the performance issues, which no idea what the hell is going on there, might be just be a problem with the map. But apart from that, the message that I take away from the you can't go here message is that I should stop trying to skip the quests. So they want me to go back and talk to Sakharov. Actually, you know what? Let me uh, we'll remove all of these since apparently it, this package is not in the place that I thought it was. And I'm going to have to retriangulate it.
All right, let me remove the waypoint. Well, I tried going down in the bunker A1. That's not allowed. Um, I think, yeah. I've gotten all the stashes that were here, so let's just head back to my backpack stash at Yantar and talk to Sakharov. Now, you guys can stop stealth now. That's all right. We're, it's fine. Uh, I am, however, going to leave you outside here and leave you ignoring combat. I always tell you to dive in if something does happen that I need you to get involved in, but for now, let's see what Sakharov has to say. Здравствуйте, молодой человек. So, did you get the measurements from Prom Zone? He got a message from his assistant. I understand that everything went well. Well, that's good. While you're on your way, the measurements were almost processed. It seems that I was mistaken about their insignificance. Good. So, yeah, there was this talk of reward. What's that about? Well, that is apparently about 10,000 rubles. So, fantastic. I'll take them. Uh, what reward? I guess one moment here. I think this will be enough. While you were here, you showed yourself in a good light. My graduate student praised you very much in his message, although it seemed to me that he was just glad to finish this experiment. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Maybe you agree to help us in future research of the new area? Well, all right then for... I'm not sure 10,000 rubles is... Yeah, you know it. sure. I'll help out. Scientific work requires a more careful approach, new research, data comparisons, and much more. After obtaining the initial measurements and realizing the importance of this work, I'm now ready to allocate more of my people to it. From you, however, it will be required to perform a slightly different type of work, more, so to speak, closer to you. I promise to provide equally good compensation in the future. Besides, haven't you also become interested? Um, interesting. There is no, yeah, actually, that sounds fascinating option, uh, but okay. No, I will feign indifference and say, but goods compensation sounds tempting, so go on. Holy shit, that's a wall of text. Okay. <clears throat> Everyone has their own motives, I understand. Well, I'll try to explain in a few words what we got from the results of the prom zone and what we need from you. As far as I know, your colleagues, that is stalkers, have already been, you know what, I'm not reading this entire goddamn thing. Okay, so in short, it seems like Stalkers have thoroughly explored these zones and found nothing akin to a brain scorcher, none of those science experiments like that. But the scientists are getting measurements which seem to imply that there should be something like that here. Uh, and apparently some stalker got really drunk and rambled on about documents he found in the basements of prom zone. So apparently that's yet another one of the zone's problems that alcohol could solve. But okay, we need rumors and this guy was in the bar, so it seems like that's where we're headed next. And let's see, while I'm here, anything you want to take off my hands? Um, yeah, those are great. Uh, although, actually, you know what? Do you want any of these? Chimera horn, I don't have one. Crystal, I'm going to take that because I actually do have another back in my stash. Oddly enough. But okay, I think that was the last of it. Yep, no, he doesn't need anything else. So we'll just sell off all of these. And head on back to the bar. And we're back at the bar, and the NPCs have teleported in and immediately got in the way. So let's drag them over here for just a second. Yes, thank you. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, wait here. Good. Now, we need to talk to the barman, because he's likely going to have some knowledge of what the rumors were. Uh, did anyone here recently celebrate their birthday by any chance? Uh, if there was one, I think his name was Hare. Why do you ask? Well, I'm his friend. We used to wander around the zone together for a while. Ah, this is how we're playing it. Okay. He received some important news from the other side, but they can't reach him and ask me to find him. Stalkers said they last saw him here. Well, I won't be able to help you much with that anyway. He came in seeming cheerful, treated many people, and told me he found some important documents. I skimmed through them a bit while everyone was drinking, compared them to my orders, and told them that his papers were not needed by anyone, but added that I was willing to buy them for a small amount. He started yelling about how difficult it was for him to obtain these documents and that someone was trying to rip him off, so my security guard had to throw his ass out along with his scribbles. The rumor has it that he left towards the garbage the next morning, and we haven't seen him since. Well, that was it, but Barkeep apparently has something else that he wants us to do. 
running low on alcohol and the next delivery won't be for another week. Manage to arrange with someone to sell any of the freight. These people can't come to the bar. Everything has already been paid for. You just need to meet them at the truck cemetery. Pick up the goods and bring them to Excuse me. The truck cemetery. You've got some folks who are delivering alcohol for the bar. And your go-to plan was to have them do the meat in the truck cemetery? You're an idiot. That or you're like doing the deal with Sin or Monolith or something like that. But what is going on here? No. OK, well, you know what? Sure, shady, but all right, I'll do it. But I think we will do that next time. It looks like this is shaping up to be a three part quest with each of the parts taking us on a tour of sorts through the new areas. The first one took us over to Prom Zone and this one, if I had to guess, this is going to take us to Eugenie since the, the zone in fort is right there. But we'll find out. I want to thank you for all of your patience and understanding during the long hiatus and as well with any speed bumps that come up as I try to regain some sort of normalcy with regard to my content creation. I appreciate all of you and there is more to come. Thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.